Hello Physios, get back to my channel, Snare Physio Notes SPN. Today we learn on the topic of cavernous sinus, which is you are very important in anatomy first year 5 marker. I have some bullet points to be cover up this cavernous sinus. It is a large venous space and its location is your medial cranial fossa at spinoid bone. When coming to relations, superiorly it has O, 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 optic tract, optic chiasma, olfactory tract and your internal carotid artery. Inferiorly it has foramen lacerum, greater wing of spinoid bone, medially it has hypophysis cerebri or it is also called as pituitary gland. Laterally it has temporal lobe. When coming to anteriorly it has superior orbital fissure and posteriorly it has petrus, apex of petrus temporal bone and your crust cerebri of midbrain. These are your relations of your cavernous sinus, superiorly, inferiorly, medial, laterally, anterior and posteriorly. When coming into tributaries, I have drawn a picture to be simplified, your tributaries are your from eye, brain and meninges. These are your three tributaries from your eye, you are having superior ophthalmic vein and central vein of retina. And lower you have inferior ophthalmic vein. These are your tributaries from your eye region. When coming into the brain, you have superficial medial cerebral vein and three inferior cerebral, cerebral veins. And overall we have some meninges to the spinoparietal sinus and your frontal trunk of medial meningeal vein. That is your dura mater, alkanoid mater, pia mater of your meninges of your tributaries to the cavernous sinus. Next, I have a content of cavernous sinus. I have a mnemonic here, O Tom Cat. Look here, O Tom Cat. T is common for O Tom and Cat. Let me see the contents, O Tom Cat. O. Oculomotor nerve. T. Trochlear nerve. O. Ophthalmic nerve. M. Maxillary nerve. C. Carotid artery. A. Abducens nerve. And T is common like you are having trochlear nerve. When written it connects to the T of O. Tom. Have you seen here T is common that is your trochlear nerve which is fourth cranial nerve. When we talk about the lateral view of some other sinuses, like we have superior sagittal sinus, inferior sagittal sinus, straight sinus, transverse sinus, and we have here sigmoid sinus. Any, any thrombi to the superior sagittal sinus or obstruction to the nose scar, it results in delirium and having convulsions, that is your fits. And your inferior sagittal sinus gets connected to the lower of your greater cerebral vein. And it connects to the straight sinus. Transverse sinus is the large sinus and it has left to the straight sinus. When coming to the right, it has your superior sagittal sinus. And I have here sigmoid sinus having S shape. So it is shaped like S shape. Any infected to the sigmoid sinus results in infections to the middle ear like having a thrombi and it is continuation of internal jugular vein. This is your intracranial venous sinuses and it contains. You have here tributaries and your relations locations. These are able to write in your exam point of view with a file marker and, and, and you should draw the diagrams too. It is easy I think so. Thank you for watching my video.